Hey homies, welcome back. Long time no see. Um, today I have a card layout to share with you that works for all these teeny, you know, teeny tiny stamped images and teeny tiny die cuts that we have. Um, you can use this for any of them. I have a whole bunch of them that I made. Um, I'm going to show at the end. So this is very simple, very basic. You just need basic shape dies. Now I like to mat with a pretty layer behind my basic shape. So like I've got some scallop circles. These are from Spellbinders. And then I have the Hero Arts Infinity Circle dies. And for my squares, I have this framelit set from Sizzix and Stephanie Bernard. This is an old, old set to use behind an infinity square. You could do any shapes you like, like a star for a birthday card would be really cute. Um, circles, hexagons, rectangles, whatever you like. So we're gonna make a card using some Lawn Fawn word stamps and this little snail. I haven't even used him yet. He's been sitting on my desk for a while. Um, I had some surgery in January. It just took me a little longer to uh, recover from and get my energy back and stuff than I anticipated. But you know, I am getting older. So we're going to use these to create a card using this method. And I think, I think we're going to go with circles for this one today. And like I said, at the end, I've got a few, a few more cards I'll put in to show you. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need, obviously, is a card base. So I've got my top folding or bottom folding, depending on how you hold it. <laughs> top folding A2 Nina Solar White card. I'm going to get these dies cut apart. I mean, he is just ugh, precious. Okay. Lawn Fawn. Lawn Fawn and Doodlebug, I'm telling you. Gets me every time. Out the paw. The paw. So I don't lose any pieces here. I'm just going to snip it apart. All right, all my little dies are cut apart. Now we need to decide how large of a shape do we want to use. So I've got the circles here. I'll tell you, these infinity sets are a great deal. You get a lot. Look at that, that'll be perfect for that little fella. So then I want to pick a backer because like I said, I like to have a pretty, pretty background. That one's probably too big, yes. That one. Yep, those two. Now this uh, set of words from Lawn Fawn, this is, what's it called? Henry's Build a Sentiment Spring, and it's got everything on here. You got your happy birthday, wedding, sending all the thoughts, love your way, may all your days, wishes, dreams come true. Really, really good set. Um, and I like the Henry font that they use. So I'm going to get these two cut out, and we will then cut out our snail. So here is our layer and then our pretty matting layer for behind it. And those are just going to lay right on top of each other. For the snail, I think I'm going to do a black background because I'm going to stamp the words in black. And then we're going to make the snail this yellow uh, glitter cardstock. And for his little tufts of grass, I'm going to use the same uh, green polka dot is what I have on the, the pretty layer. And we're going to do two. And then we'll use some green glitter cardstock for the top part. How cute. Look how precious. And we've got our grasses. Dun -dun. Oh, 
let's well let's see how do we want to arrange our stuff here we do have a scrap of this left it could make him some grass and i pulled over some distress ink brushes i'm just going to see if there's anything left on them ink this up a little bit at first i thought i wanted it just to be white but then i was like you know a little color might be nice so my cutting mats are really beat up so there's some marks on the background but i'm not too concerned about that because it's going to be covered up so we're just going to leave it take the lazy way out and leave it a little bit of this green across the bottom and then just trim it off there we go then i'll put a grass there Hang it off the edge and trim it off. Put one over there, an inside piece. Just build a little snail scene, huh? More glue. some grass in front because you know snails travel through the grass and I'm not gluing these completely I'm just doing the bottoms so that the grass can you know kind of move a little bit all right now let's add the snail circle onto the green circle with foam pop it up a little bit Go buy yourself a pack of fun foam. It is so much um, more cost effective. I mean, I have foam squares too, but I definitely, I use the fun foam a lot. And then we need to stick it down. So there you've got your little focal point, you know, made from small images. And my card base over. Now you can put stuff behind this, like maybe strips of paper, strips of washi. I have a couple that I actually stenciled the card base that you'll see later. All kinds of options. But this is just a easy layout to use these small um, images with. So let's get this glued down. I'm going to try to roughly center it. I'm not good at the centering, but <laughs> it's as centered as it's going to get. And I think I'd like to use some of these little dies that came with it. I'm not sure what the circles are for, unless they're for on the ends of his antenna. I do know. I'm gonna have to go look it up when uh, when I'm done with this video. So let's cut some hearts out. Got some glitter scraps and we'll use our little buddy and we'll cut some of these hearts out and add them. Cause I think they're cute. Might be time for some new cutting plates, huh? So here we've got some kind of aqua, beautiful aqua teal color. All right, so we've got all our little hearts. Now we need to decide what we want to say. Got a scrap of white and a scrap of black because I'm going to mat it. Sending happy thoughts. Let's see. Sending. I just love word sets like this. Now an easy way to line these up straighter is to put them on your surface and then pick them up with the block rather than trying to straight keep them straight on the block. Sending, where's happy? I haven't actually used these yet. I played with them a little bit just to see if I really like the font as much as I thought. 
but haven't actually used them. So really, this could be a new Toy Tuesday. Something else, because you know these tend to want to stick to you, at least when they're new. If you use a pencil eraser, especially a white eraser, they don't stick. They'll stick to your finger, but they will not stick to the white eraser. Let's do a test run. You have to throw it really straight. Because y'all know I can't do anything straight. Even my painting kits, I have washi tape and six inch rulers because I can't do anything straight. Okay. That's pretty good. We're using some black soot archival. Because y'all know I'm an archival girl. Sending happy thoughts. Oh. this so we'll need a little foam on that back end there i always keep a little scraps i always keep them in a baggie because you know they come in you know, a trick to make sure it's actually good and level is to take a piece of the cardstock that it's going to be resting on and put that behind it and then your foam so we need a little glue again I'm just gonna put a piece of that cardstock. That's kind of our back background sky layer on there. And then a piece of the foam. And then glue it down. And now let's add some of these hearts that we cut out. And then you know what I say, no naked insides. So we're gonna put a few hearts inside as well. Now is that cute or what? So there you go, an easy layout to use teeny tiny images, any basic shape. And of course you don't have to mat it, but I like to mat it. Um, or say you don't have scallop circles, you can just go the next size up and mat it, mat it that way. So I will put the other cards in here at the end and y'all have a lovely day. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something. Bye-bye.